Welcome back everybody. This is episode 28 of No Place Like Home. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I am grabbing uh, out my pig pictures so that I can hang them on the wall. Um, and I don't know, I, th I don't know what we're making each zone. I think this is a nice relaxing space for them. Why don't we put them here? Eight. And nine. The same picture? Yeah, that's okay. Um, I also had a little fox basket, but I I'd like the fox basket to go out here. If I can find a space for it. Uh, at the foot of my bed looks good. Let's see if this is a, a thing I can place. So we'll grab the, uh, whatever this is. There we go. And... Oh, yes I can. There we go. And I, I like it. We're just going to turn it round. Oh, Alright, it's cute. Let, let's get out of here. I'm pretty sure I had... Um, Pretty sure I had seeds to plant, but I don't. Look, it doesn't look like I've got places to plant them in. I was getting low on something. What was it? All right, I'm good with acorns. Good for acorns. Sorry. Let me just put my seeds down the bottom here, so that they're kind of all uh, in one spot. I will put the orange seeds down here because I need them to annoy me. What's this? Oat seeds. Yes, love oat seeds because we're running out of oats. Actually, how many oats am I carrying? That's wheat. That's oats. We're good for wheat and oats. We're good for potatoes. Acorns. I think we'll be alright. Yeah, alright. Okay, I guess we're going to teleport our way back to where we were. Into this area here. The Lonely Hills Old Trading Post. Because Harold somehow has a twin brother, and he, or he can be in two places at once. I'm not sure what it is, but um, fine. We are on the hunt for onions and garlic, but I think I have to go to the desert zone for some some of those. Uh, we also have spaces in the. Aha. Uh -huh. I see more spiders down there. They look like little ones, which shouldn't be underestimated, mind you, but anyway. Alright. And there's another deer to befriend. Yes! This is Ellen's Animal Rescue Service, right? Now, this should limit. Oh! Oh! How many can come through? Oh, we could just run into the middle of them and beat them up. There we go. That'll do. Here, have an acorn. Happy dear. Oh! Oh, I see you. Cheeky little monster. And you, I saw. Yeah, I'd run too if I were you. Man, just leave the human alone, you could live. Oh, I don't know what we're going to need those for, but we are going to need them. So, alright, now I can clean this up without having pot shots taken at me. I know, I reckon this game would be pretty overwhelming if you didn't take it just in chunks. Just working a bit like a lot of things in life, I guess.
There we go. Alright, this one is bothering me because it's just so far out of the zone for everything else. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. Not so tough without your aerial support, are ya? Like most things. I mean, I tend to when I when I play games that require them, I, I tend to play a melee fighter, um, because I like to to just be more direct in dealing with the problem. Um, but I have to say, over the years, I've I've learnt to appreciate range, and these water guns for this game just give you that that range that you need. I can hear more. It's very disconcerting. Oops. It could just be those little guys that need it, uh, are in need of rescue. Now, where'd he go? I know, I've scared the daylight. Oh! Sugar honey iced tea. I did hear more. They were big and mean and nasty. Let's use some concentrated firepower. There we go, we got it. I know, I didn't even know where I got that saying from. Maybe it was a kid's cartoon. Kid's cartoons teach you all sorts of things. What have I got? Blueberry seeds. Fancy meeting that big green spider right there. My goodness. We need to find the spider making factory and shut it down. It's probably already gone, but anyway. And there's two of them. If I can kite this one out a little bit from his friend. And then there was one. How's her health? We're good. Okay, they freeze up while they're doing that, that jump attack too. Do you got like a couple of seconds where you don't have to worry about it too much? Then you gotta move. Blueberry seeds galore. And pepper seeds. <gasps> and another one of those mysterious logs that I have no idea for. I know, we're going to probably find the quest giver for <laughs> all of these logs. <laughs> Somewhere in the back here. Maybe. 
Or he's in another zone entirely. I guess it's just a lesson in, uh, if it looks useful, grab it. Oh, I can get water from there? Well, let's refill our water gun. I know, I keep, I keep thinking I need to fish because uh, so many games when the, where you see water you've got fishing spots but uh, this game does not have fishing so um, you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> Feathers and a duck! Alright, let's liberate that feather. McCalling out for a friend. Find every feather in the Lonely Hills. Oh, well done! Nice job, Ellen. Befriend the duck. That is a happy ducky. This looks like a bridge to, I don't know, maybe somewhere? Or not. Might just be a good lookout point. We'll, we'll investigate it when we've cleaned up this part of the zone. Okay, I, I did think I, I saw a um, a spider in there. Maybe it was one of those cube bots. Didn't wasn't there a cube box we had to chase down and rescue from itself? It needs a home. Oh no. This means I'm going to have to come all the way out here to rescue it later. Well, at least it doesn't have to hide anymore. I know, I was thinking, that sounds like an armoured spider. Not so armoured anymore. I wonder if it has friends. No, it was a friendless armoured spider. We're so lucky. Of course, it could have been a forward scout. I don't think we get to go over in that area. Oh, disappointed. But we do clean up this area, so that's good. Now we can see everything. <gasps> a box! Oh, I wonder if we... Oh, well, let's grab that. Maybe we can use it. Wait a minute, what's here? <gasps> oh, we nearly missed this section. Okay. And this. A hat. A cupcake hat. An acorn hat. And a flower crown. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. That's awesome. Okay, that's my little lonely cube bot. Let's see if there's a way of going across using this box. Usually the boxes are, are put somewhere where they're needed. It doesn't... Man, what have I missed? Ah, how do I get up there? 
let's see if we can find a way. I have a feeling we might need to um, to go into the the frozen peaks area to get back um, to there. All right. Well, that's not beyond us. Did we befriend this deer? I don't know. I think we might have, and it's stuck. Yeah, we befriended it. You're okay, little deer. I know, right? Okay. Let me just see if Ellen can wiggle her way up this way. No, it does look very much like we have to go. Alright, so we've done all of this. All of this area is now complete. But we can't get in along this track. Maybe we're not meant to get along that track yet. I don't know. Okay, global map. It doesn't... I wonder if there's a cave or something up here that we can access this line from. Well, let's go to here. I'm thinking um, there's an underground access in here that maybe I didn't do. Yeah, so we want to go this way. And we can have another go at that that bit of rubbish. See, this is where the deer used to be, in this space here, and and then they weren't. And I'm like, what? <laughs> but now we know where they're hiding. We'll actually have to go and harvest them. Like I said, there's an achievement that we we need to hang on our wall. Ah, there's a door there. I don't think I may have gone through it. All right. This is the immovable rubbish pile. Alright, I, I think that one may just be a permanently enshrined stack of garbage. Let's have a look and see what's in here, because I don't remember going up into this zone. I must have done though, because I mean look. This is the area that we... I wonder if there's spaces in here we haven't done yet. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but that doesn't mean anything. What's in here? Alright, let's see where this takes us. Where are we? Oh, okay. I know where we are. So this is the door. I know. We need to find that dastardly chicken. In his underground hideout. <laughs> He's somewhere in here. Uh, it's 23.50 though. We're going to have to find a way for Ellen to get home. Let's see if we can find somewhere in here. Here, nope, that's not a spot. <gasps> no, we have been here. Okay, wait, was there a space in here that we missed, maybe? I'm pretty sure we can't, and we just push that, and just change the direction that's shooting in. Can we go up this? No, we just go through it. Okay, I was hoping that that might be a space. Um, uh, mm, okay. And this was our code that we worked, we didn't work it out, we actually went and found that one. Uh, what about... Alright, so that's a dead end. Radio. And that other zone was a dead end as well.
So I, maybe there's zones here we haven't explored as well. Uh, so yeah, we'll get to the global map in a minute, but I just want to just check this space out first until I'm sure we've covered everything. We did do a pretty good thorough job of cleaning. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we've covered that. Let's take Ellen home. Um, I think we need to go, yeah, let me just go here. Do, do, do. All right, let Alan have some sleep. I like having that little fox curled up at the bottom of my bed. All righty. Oh, I know everything needs harvesting. I'm like, I don't know if I want to harvest harvest it. My inventory is nearly full. Uh, yeah. I need my cows. All right. Why don't I just see what I can pull out of the inventory? We probably need to go and visit that lady who has the birds. We have so many seeds. Why don't we just pull the seeds out just for the minute? Uh, the end box? No, we put mayo in the end box. Oh no. Okay. This box. Ah! <laughs> this box. Let's try that button. Um, uh, we can put... Let's put just put some seeds in here, I think. Because we will get to planting in a little while. But not today. Today I want to do something different. I know, I'm going to be looking for my seeds going and whining about not being able to find them. Uh, you know how it goes. Well, let's get this in here. Alright, that's given us a slightly healthier backpack. Let us... Go to our global. Oh no, I want to see if I can expand my cubebot lodge again. Animals, pigsty, chickens, cow shed. I don't think. No, I just need to build them one. I might be able to fit one. Uh oh. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> I have plenty of pigger styes, but I need a cube bot lodge space. Let's build one. We'll put it down somewhere. When we find a space, we'll just drop it down. Maybe out in that lonely zone, they can play. Um. Oh, we can put one out near Harold. There we go. I mean, I could sit one here, maybe. They're just a little shack. Why, or we could put it here. Well, I don't know. Let's see if we can squeeze one in here. Hopefully, you know, <laughs> we can. Let's go with a five. I have, just have this feeling we're not going to be able to. Yeah, no. All right. Uh, hmm. All right. You know what? I have this pigsty all the way out here. Uh, no, not all the way out here. What am I thinking? <sighs> Although, didn't I say we had to look for underground in this area? We, d I did. All right. So why don't why don't we take the cube bots where they might be useful? We'll wander them. Um, Alright, we looked at the underground in here and we figured we couldn't get anywhere in there. Okay. I could be wrong, but I think that, that we've explored the daylights out of that one. Uh, so, let's go into here. There is another underground zone. I can't remember if I explored it, but what I might do is I might put my cube bot lodge down here.
Rudy likes gadgets, right? What can be more gadgety than a cube bot? Alright, they got space to go round. Oh, can I pick it up? No, I can't pick it. Wait a minute, I can, can't I? Yes. Yes. There you go. Um, I want to turn it round. So that it's facing the other way. Right, now the cube bots can get in and out more easily. I know. What? I haven't finished in here. Oh my gosh. Well, let's fix that then. What sort of friend am I leaving this poor man with all these piles of garbage around his house? Now we're good. But there wasn't anything on top of the hill. Just grab that gungy bit there and grab this. Uh, so I'm wondering, because there's also these these houses on the hill up there that I'm not sure how to get to. Alrighty, let's um. Let's just do a quick explore, see what I've missed in this zone. Because I've missed one thing, so there might be another. See, I still have that machine. I'm pretty sure I've got to install that somewhere. Let me go talk to... Um... See, I haven't cleaned up this big hole in the ground. Bulbulator. See, it's got a sign and everything, so I definitely have missed something. I used to think we could put it down in here. I'm pretty sure we still need to put it down in here. Maybe I've just... I wonder if I can climb down the pit. Oh! <gasps> yes! <laughs> have we missed something? Uh, we may have done. Oh yeah, we missed something. There you go. I'm out of carrots? Oh no! I am out of carrots. We've befriended so many ducks. Oh, the bulbulator. That's what we've been carrying around in our backpack. Wait, it's not put together. Alright, so maybe I need to go back to Rudy for it? Oh, okay. Well, hang on. Let me just go map. Global. Grandpa's house. We need carrots. I know, this poor little frog. Alright, we came back for carrots. Let's just grab these. And I had carrots in one of these boxes. All right. <sighs> Global map. Uh, I'm trying to work out which is quicker. We might actually go to this door, the old quarry. And then, oh no, I had this feeling I'd missed something. We should listen to those feelings when we get them. Let's just zip back in through here. So it doesn't matter how methodical you are, <laughs> some days you're just not going to see it. 
We need to go in there too. I think we've been in there, but um, that's okay. So we've got all the fungus. Uh, am I lost again? I may be. We need to go this way. Okay, so not such a shortcut after all. Uh, we need to go in here. There we go. Beautiful. And we need to talk to this Rudy about his bobulator. Ah, Alan, you did it. The bridge looks terrific. Good job. You're welcome. Uh, so what about the, the great bobulator? Yes, now I can trust you with this task. First, we need to find some parts and some mushrooms. It will give the machine extra juice, meaning power. Then we'll just need to keep our fingers crossed and hope it works. Hope? Well, it's not like anybody except for your grandfather ever made one of those. Most of the folk around here don't even believe the great bobulator is a real thing. Alrighty, find seven cleansing fungus. Uh, we did it. Whoa, Alan, I knew I could count on you, so now let's see... Uh-huh. And uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, no! What happened? Your grandpa's calculations were correct. This man's brain was amazing. But I really hoped we could work around this problem and avoid this confrontation. Uh, avoid what exactly? Let's say we need another part. From a man. A man from whom I borrowed some things. It doesn't matter what things. It matters that I did. And he's not exactly, you know happy about it. You see, it's that I can't just go to him and ask him to give me the required part. So, um, maybe you can do it for me? I guess I have no choice, right? So who am I looking for? Uh, the farmer, Harold Abbott. He's... Mr. Abbott, of course I know him. I've helped him already. Okay, that's good. We'll need this farmer's chain. His farmer's chain, Alan. Get back to me as soon as you get the part and we'll get the bulbulator going. Quest complete. Find seven quests. Oh, good. Rudy now needs a part that Harold has. The issue is that the farmer doesn't particularly like Rudy, so I have to get the part myself. It's a shame that people don't see Rudy for who he truly is, but I guess that can't be helped. All right. Now, the quickest way to get to Harold from here is here. The Lonely Hills Old Trading Post. Not that he's very far away at the other place, it's just this is a shorter walk. Because he is over here. I know, I could, I'm like, what's this bobulator doing inside my shed? <laughs> my backpack. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, up for some piggy business? Alan, help, I can't believe it. I can't believe they're gone. Uh, what happened? Who's gone? My ducks are gone. It's as if the entire heavens decided to spite me. I'm not sure if I can take good care of them, Alan. Please, will you help me? Will you take care of them? Sure. Uh, to be honest, I came to you for a bulbulator part. Alan, please, the ducks might be in danger. We can talk about bulbulator later. Don't worry, I'll find your ducks. Um, I did find his ducks, though, didn't I? I <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Quests. Uh, Lonely Hills. Duck hunt. Alright, find and befriend five ducks. Uh, okay, so now I just need to go back and talk to him, I guess. Uh, yeah. I found all the ducks. You're a gem, Alan. Thank you for your kindness. I don't know why you're friends with Rudy, but I bet I cannot, we cannot complain about others in these unstable times, can we? Uh, about that. I know, I've heard you're trying to rebuild the bulbulator, and I assume you need my neutralizer. I'd gladly give it to you, seeing how much you've helped me, but I can't. I need it right now, and I'll need, be needing it for the foreseeable future. Uh, unless... Unless... Unless you're able to help put out the deer population that's settled around here. Napoleon used to love playing with them, and he'd be so happy if he could do it again. But they're now scattered, running around scared. They can't play, with their play around with their basic needs uh, unmet. You need to help them. Yes, do that, and the part will be yours. Uh, I am up for piggy business. I've already helped you, dear. 
Hello, Mr. Harold. The deer are safe and happy now. Thank you, Alan. I knew I could rely on you. You've proven yourself time and again, so here's something for you. Now you'll be able to build a proper bulbulator. Good luck, and please try not to wreak any more havoc with this machine. Uh, what do you mean? So you don't know? Well, maybe it's for the better. Go, kid. Fix those toxic clouds. Alright, we're going to go do that. Um, after we've befriended the very last, well, I'm not sure if it's the last, but there's this little cubot running around down here. And it needs a friend. Um, so we're going to put it in its brand spanking new cubot house, uh, which I've put out near Rudy because he likes little machines. Hopefully he won't pull it apart for parts. I didn't think of that little aspect when I, uh, when I did that. All right, now we're going to go and, um, I know, go fix a bulbulator. Actually, why am I doing this the long way? Global map. Do, 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 do. Go to this door. Uh, I'm not sure that was my best ever bet. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I'm lost. Well, dear, that's what maps are for. There you go. I'm not that lost now. I know where I am. We're going to head over this way. Take a left. No, that was a right. Oh, we'll take a right. And then we'll hang a left. Boop. I know. I was like, what have I missed? Why am I at a dead end here? Well, because you missed a really important quest. <laughs> Going back to the NPCs when you've done the task is a good idea, girl. See, he's settled in nicely. And he hasn't been used for spare parts. Amazing, Alan. Now we can get rid of this toxic hole. Just go down there and place the bulbulator in the hole. It should move the fumes right away. Uh, sure, I can do that. Let's go. Oh, and we've done that. So we have 50 and 50. We're so good. Do, 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 do. I know, this makes me even believe even more firmly that I've missed a part of the uh, underground that is vital to me finding the dog, uh, the chicken. Sir Cornelius, where are you hiding? Alrighty, let's go. Alright, so we went all the way to the end, and I was like, wow, that was a, you know, didn't work very well for me. I thought there was something else down here. Well, there was. I just walked right past the ladder. <laughs> Because I didn't think anyone would be crazy enough to want to do anything in the hole. But anyway. Why? I've got a space for you, ducky. There you go. You can go to my house. And you can go to my house. And I'll have that. Ooh. Oh no. Hats. Cupcake hat, prepared meals, and blueberry seeds. Now we can repair this. Place it and return to Rudy. So you got to read these quest <laughs> instructions. What? All right. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I'm like, I don't remember this, but yes, I do. Oh, look at that. No green fumes. So good. I know, and even Harold is smart enough. To, um, see, there's another underground entrance. I don't think we did that one either, so we'll come back for that. Do, 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 do. I'm hoping I haven't erased Cornelius from the... See, there's got to be a way up to that rubbish up there. And these spaces. So, anyway. Let's go talk to Rudy. It worked! We managed to create the great bulbulator and clean up the fumes. This is amazing, Ellen. Now they'll finally see that I can be valuable and helpful. What do you mean, Rudy? Well, not everyone was as patient with my experiments and uh, innovations as your grandfather. So many people got angry, called me a thief. They didn't know I was just trying to come up with something to help them and this land. You might have asked. You've met a couple of them by now, right? They've all given up on bringing Earth back, cleaning it up, or just doing anything. All they do is wallow in their memories, their past, dreams of former glory. But your grandfather always pushed me to keep trying, and so I did. <gasps> How proud he would have been if he could have seen us right now. G go to Frozen Peaks, Alan, and find Max. I can't wait to see him again. You've been holding out on my grandpa all this time, you toad. 
can't see me for what I really am. Uh-huh. A manipulative thief. That's what he was. I mean, he had the world's best interest at heart, but <laughs> I don't think he quite got it going about it the right way. Man. Alrighty. Well, I'll just grab this. The trash I missed. This looks like I've been here before. It definitely does. So maybe I have I have done everything in this part of the the woods. I don't know. Pretty sure I have. So there's this area here and it's circular. Yeah. Alright, where does this one go? I oh, know it's possible I've missed a ladder. Okay, so that's that's this one. Okay, so let's go this way. Uh, across the bridge again to see if there's another doorway that we missed. There might have been one in the quarry. We'll have to work it out. Okay, so there is this doorway as well, but I, I'm... No, wait a minute, we just went down that one. I remember. Let's just go around the curve, see if there's one around here that maybe I've missed. Oh, wait, what's up here? Okay, we just came this way, that's right. Okay. So I was pretty sure no. I know you're coming in like when you come to the end part of a zone it's just like where what have I missed where should I have gone that I didn't see So it's possible that we've cleared the underground for the Lonely Hills. So there might be another underground area that we ah, haven't cleaned. I know, squirting water indiscriminately. But I'm thinking because that chicken achievement is before, um, before finding him in the Lonely Hills, I'm thinking we've missed it back at maybe the village or in another area of the Lonely Hills underground. Was there? There was an entrance up here, wasn't there? What? Oh, annoying. No shortcutting. What? And I can't jump to try and puck all my way up. What do you mean, no being lazy? Oh. There's a piggy. Oh, did I miss you? I did. There you go. Have some honey. I did miss him. Poor little piggy. Well, there, see we had to come back anyway. Just gotta hit it at the right angle, now that... Alright, maybe I didn't miss it. Huh. And then this takes us into here, right? Into the trading post area. And I did not see any entrances to the underground in this area. Now, I could have missed it, but uh, I don't think so. All right. M for map, global map. I can't go home. Oh no, I can go home, okay. Frozen peaks, frozen woods.
Okay. All right. Now, if I remember rightly, there's a boar we've got to befriend in here. If we haven't done it already. No, it doesn't look like it. Boots. Yes. Beets, not boots. So this is our new pigsty, in case we needed to have a new pigsty. But I have a feeling that we, um, we didn't. I've lost... I've lost the entrance because the pig gate, the pig sty is partly obscuring. You'd think I'd actually recognize it as a landmark. All right, so we cleaned up all in here. We didn't find any underground entrances. Uh, let us toddle. Oh, let's give Jay her feathers. Hey, Jay. Um... I have some feathers for you. Oh, I took the samples for my studies and added the feathers to your binder. Beautiful, aren't they? Thank you. All right. So we had to climb the mountain. Um, but before we do, I want to find these cows. And there was a little zone down here with a brown cow as well. So. Befriend a cow. Mooing the lawn. <laughs> Oh, I know. I can't help it. There's just something about a good dad joke. Alright, there's the mad robot. So somewhere in the frozen peaks is my grandfather. Oh, well, is he here? I know, there I go, polluting the streams and rivers. In my attempt to get to a cow. It is 23.53 and nearly time for our wonderful little character Ellen to go to bed. But I would like to send this cow home first. Japanese decoration bucket. Hey, we're doing all right with these now. Yeah, I can befriend her. I just have to approach her the right way. Two cows, yes. Oh, and and a th well, let's grab that. And a bonsai tree. Looks like someone should live here, but no one's home. There we go. Oh, rubbish. Mm-hmm. You guys are not funny. I need to find more boxes. Now, I know where I can get a ton of boxes. Um, because I don't need them to block incoming fire anymore. I just have to go into the underground to find them. So we might do that next episode. Let's just get all of these. Oh, I found a door. All right, we're going to unlock that before we finish up. Alright. Wait, I can go in? Hey! Oh, oh my. Well, okay. It's 2.04 in the morning. Definitely time for Ellen to get some sleep. We'll clear inside this house. Um, maybe I can build a bed or something to put down in here and we can rest. Maybe I'll uncover a bed. <laughs> she says, hopefully. No, it does not look like it. There we go. Well, it's tidy now. So that should make someone happy. So Max was here. In the, like, Grandpa. In the peaks. Alright, well, if we clean up his house, maybe he'll come back. 
A box. Yes. How many more did I need? I reckon I need about three more. But I think we'll just finish this corner. There we are. And get the last bit of rubbish. We definitely can't run up. Alright, well I don't know why there's so many robot bits in such odd places. Borscht! Yes! Um, but, alright. Okay. I think now we've done everything here. Every time I say it. Let's grab this one. More bonfire wood. We can't be done with that. They, they wouldn't possibly put that many spare bits everywhere, would they, right? Let's unlock this door. And then I think... Oh, I hope I don't get mugged by spiders. That would be not, not how I want to end this seri uh, episode. Series. We're not there yet. Fast travel point unlocked. Frozen Peaks Winter Railway. You can use the fast travel selection by blah 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 location on your map. Alright, I think this maybe hooks into that railway line that we're trying to um, uncover. But guys, as tempted as I am to just keep going because there's so much excitement to, to get it, to get that bit done. Let's, um, let's head for home. Head to Grandpa's old farm. And uh, we will call this episode here. Oh my goodness. There's so much, isn't there? Alright, we're going to call the episode here. We're going to head in. We're going to let Ellen have some sleep. Yes, I'd love my game to be saved. And guys, on that note, I'm going to leave you. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And I'll check you later. Take care out there.